Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with a tag video and this is the makeup collection tag and this is made by Georgia Harris. I will leave her channel and her video down in the descriptions as well as the questions and this is 14 questions about the makeup collection. So question number one, how long have you been collecting makeup? And I think I started around 2014 or 2015. 15. And I started my YouTube channel in August 2014 and it's maybe I didn't collect makeup in the same way I do now. So maybe it was 2015 I started to get more makeup than a normal per person. Or maybe it was later than that, maybe it's what 2016, I don't really know. I started to use makeup and start to buy more makeup in 2015 and 2016. So sometime around that. First I had like this, just a little box, like this little acrylic box and I fit all my makeup in that. Yeah, and I was so proud of it. But then it just went out of control and now it's like this... Yeah. What kind of collection do you have? I have... I don't know how to describe it. I think I have a messy collection. I have like... No... Order. I try to have order, but I'm not a person that is good with organize things I have never been and I think I will never be so I have a pretty messy collection I still try to have all my highlighters with highlighters and all my blushes with blushes so I think just a messy but maybe it's not so messy I have some order I don't know how to describe my I think messy is the best word question number three are you completionist Com Completionist, completionist, completionist. And first I was like, what the hell? <laughs> but then your day was like, it's when you maybe buy a whole collection or a whole brand or something like that. And yes and no. It's one brand that I buy almost everything and that is Linda Halberg. It's just her eternal eyeliner I haven't bought. If I was not on low by this year, I would have bought it. But I just don't use an eyeliner. So I was like, it's not something that I'm going to use and I'm not needed, so I will not buy it. But otherwise, I buy everything from Linda Holberg. But no, it's the only exception. There is no other brand or any other collection I buy everything from. I don't buy makeup that I don't want. So no, I am not. Question number four, how do you store organize your collection? And how I store how I organize I do not I try but how I store it I have like everybody like I am from Sweden and I have IKEA furniture of course so I have a five drawer five Alex five, Alex five drawer <laughs> and where I have my Becca products some of my eye my eyelashes um, and then I have like nail things and palettes and then I have a table with a drawer underneath where I have all my base products and on my table I have some acrylic things and some like these um, baskets with things and yeah and I have these Muji drawers and everything fell down um, acrylic so that's how I store my makeup and I try to organize it with like in that one I almost it's just the bottom drawer that is not lipsticks. So I try to make have my lipsticks with my lipsticks. And I try to have them 
with brands or just so they fit in the drawers but I have I try to have them organized by brands my eyeshadow palettes I have with my eyeshadow palettes my base products I have in the drawer of my table and there I try to have my face brushes and then my like primers my liquid highlighters my loose highlighters or my pressed highlighters and my blushes all these single things and my powders I try to have them together the same thing together but the, the order is not it's not that good because it's not that good so question number five what is your favorite thing about your collection and I think it is my lipstick my lipsticks I I love lipsticks if you didn't know that I love eyeshadow palettes as well but it's something special with lipsticks it has always been and it will always be I love maybe my eyeshadows more but lipsticks have a special place in my heart and I'm so happy with my drawer here and <laughs> I I'm just happy about it they are almost sorted with only brands like my Jeffree Stars is with all my Jeffree Stars my Colourpop is with my Colourpop my NYX is with my NYX and I really like that it's really easy to find when I know I like that yeah I like that I am like I want to have something from Nabla and I just go and all the Nabla things is together I like, like that and that's like the only order <laughs> the only super good order I have in my collection. So question number six, what is your least favorite thing about um, your collection and something to improve your collection? I don't like how I have my palettes. I want a bigger table. I cannot fit a bigger table in here but that's something I want to improve when we are moving someday. I want to have more space so I can store things as I want to sort them. I want to like sort my palettes by brand but in my acrylic they, where I have my palettes I it's like Tetris I have to put them where they fit. Um, I want to change that and also I want more okay maybe I should just take it so you can see it. I have this acrylic and I like want to, I have tried to sort them, so here I have my Yugo Space and here I try to have my Blush Tribe. <laughs> they don't fit where I want them to fit. And I want to fit more in here because I have more palettes than this that I want to use. So I, put, I have to put them in my drawer and uh, my drawer is just a mess so I don't open my drawer. So that's one thing I want to improve. I can't improve it so much more when I only have this space put it there I at least think I can't because I have limited space because we don't have more space so that's something to improve but I can't improve it right now and that's my least favorite thing about my collection I want to have my eyeshadow palettes more available for myself because I don't use them that is in my drawer and that makes me a little bit sad because it's like my Anastasia palettes and that um, so yeah, that's something to improve and something that I don't like. So question number seven, what is the biggest category of your collection? And I, maybe eyeshadow palettes or lipsticks. I don't really know. I think I have like 52 eyeshadow palettes. It's a crazy lot. Um, but I don't know if I have more lipsticks. I actually don't know. Maybe, so lipsticks or eyeshadows. I think they are very close. So question number eight, what is the smallest category of your collection? And that has to be contour products, no? It has to be like base products, like concealers and foundations. I have three concealers. And foundations, I have two that are open. Um, this from The Ordinary, one from, and then one mineral foundation, and then I don't have any more open foundations. So foundation and concealer, 
and primers like those base products are my smallest in my collection do you have a holy grail in your collection and i have a lot of holy grail products and i don't really know what is like my most holy grail I think it may be this highlighter from Nabla. I am so impressed that it's not run out yet. I think it's this one. It's Baby Glow from Nabla. I don't use it as much anymore because I bought a lot of new highlighters. But this one I will... If I lost everything, if I lost all my highlighters, this will be the first one I will buy again. So that has to be my holy grail in my collection. Question number 10. Do you ever wish your collection was bigger, smaller or is it complete? I don't wish it was bigger or smaller. I just wish it was better organized. And I think it is pretty complete. Even though sometimes like when I did this makeup I didn't think I had any lipstick that will suit this look. I don't even know if this lipstick does. So <laughs> I think I want to buy more lipsticks but at the same time I have shit loads of lipsticks so I think it is complete. Of course there is more things I want to buy but it's it's pretty complete. And if of course I want like a bigger collection but then I want bigger space for it so I think it's pretty complete I am not I don't think I miss that much and I don't want to get rid of that much so I think it's pretty complete but you always want more question number 11 how often do you declare makeup in your collection not as often as I should I do it like maybe twice a year and then I throw out like product that smells a little bit funny or it's like separated or I maybe haven't used for a year um, I declare them one thing I need to be so much better to declare are brushes I have a lot of brushes that I don't use um, and it just I just put them back in the drawer so yeah I uh, yeah two times a year I declare I need to do it more often I haven't done it this year yet. I think I did it last time I was a little bit ill. Was it maybe in December? I don't remember. Then I declared something because I was so bored because I couldn't play with makeup because I wasn't feeling well. And I was like, what the hell? I declared some things instead. <laughs> so I need to do it more often. Question number 12. Do you ever get envious seeing other people's makeup collection and yes I when people have this amazing order with their collection and everything is organized perfectly I am like I hate you <laughs> um, so yes people that have it I think mine look a little bit messy and it looks like it's jammed together so I am envious of everybody that has more space than me, that can put everything where it belongs and where it looks good. Question number 13. Who on YouTube has the best makeup collection video? This is so hard. I love Jessica's um, makeup collection and also her palette collection, 10 part palette collection loved all these videos. I love makeup collections in general. In general. Um, but I love hers really much. Um, I don't... I can't come up with someone like that because it, it was... It doesn't feel it's so... that people do as much makeup collections videos anymore um, than like two years ago. But I really like Jessica's and if I really want, if I really want to, if I want to see, if I'm going to watch a makeup collection video, I want the person to film the things in the drawer, not like to 
put them on the table and like show everything. I want to be in, I want to see how you have your collection, where everything is. That's what I want to see. I want to see like when the person is sitting or standing in front of their makeup collection. I want to see that. Not you just picking everything up. But I love makeup collection videos so almost every one that I've seen I love. Okay, the last question. Question number 14. What's some advice you would give to a future makeup collector? <sighs> Maybe that just buy things that you want, not things that will look good in a collection. Buy things that you want and things you will use. Don't buy things just like, oh, this is a popular thing. I don't really want it, but it's popular, so I'm going to buy it. Don't do that. Don't do that. Um, and also, try to think a step ahead. Not just like, I'm going to buy it and everything I have will fit. Because you probably will buy more. So don't fill up your space. How should I put it? It's like a big brain fart. My whole brain is a mess. Don't buy things that you will fill up at once. If you're like, I'm going to buy new storage and I only need this. Think one step ahead. If you know that you want to buy more makeup, it's okay to have empty space in your storage. It's okay, not everything has to be filled up with things because it's coming new makeup all the time. You're going to fill it up sometime. So I think that's maybe that's a super bad advice. <laughs> like, you have to buy more, so have more space. But I hope you get what I mean. I, I am like this. I buy something and I like everything will fit in this and then I buy something more and then I have to buy more storage because the storage I have is full. So think a step ahead and always buy some extra space. So this was this tag video. It was so fun to do this tag and I will of course leave the questions down below as I have already said in the beginning if you want to do this yourself. I hope you like this tag and I will try to do maybe one tag a week for a couple of weeks now because it has come a lot of new tags or maybe old tags that is come up again so i really hope you like this video and i hope i will see you in the next one bye